This next class is another homework problem from your 8-4 homework. The question is, how do I find this test statistic? So, um, when you have the sample size, the sample mean, standard deviation, all that stuff, the way you, you find the test statistic is you uh, run the test. So, you can do it with a calculator. So, stat, test. This is a t-test. All right, the way I know it's a t-test, again, it's about a mean. I don't know the population standard deviation. Remember, this is sample standard deviation. I need that sigma to know its population. So this is a t-test. Right, and then I have stats. Okay, I don't have a data set, so these are statistics. So the claim value is 34. All right, and we always have a quality in h naught. Now, here we have not equals, so that one's out. So it's only got to be one of these. The reason why it's B and not A or D is because it doesn't tell us anything in there about the um, direction. Okay. It doesn't. If you look at it, there's no um, there's no nothing that says it's greater than or less than. This says test the claim, the mean age of actresses, when they are, uh, when the award is 34 years. So that's the claim. We don't know a direction, so we just say not equals, and that takes care of greater than and less than. All right, so we're going to use the sample mean is 35.1. The sample standard deviation is 11.4. The sample size was 83. And this was a not equal to. So we do calculate. The very first thing that we see is the test statistics. So t equals uh, almost three places at so 0.879. And then the p-value is the very next thing down. This is the p-value. So to four places, 0.3819. Alright, and then the conclusion. The p-value is bigger than uh, alpha 0.05. So because your p-value is bigger than alpha, you fail to reject the null hypothesis. So it's either A or C. And when we fail to reject, it's because there is not sufficient evidence. So it's going to be A. There's insufficient evidence. Now if you want to do the same problem with stat crunch, open up stat crunch, and then this is um, you go to stat, and then this is T stats. Okay, again, it's T because we don't know the population standard deviation. And we have a summary. We don't have a data set. So the sample mean was the 35 point down a little further. 35.1 sample standard deviation is 11.4 the sample size is 83 All right, and then we have a hypothesis test. The claim was 34 and we want not equal to again because we don't have a direction. Alright and so there is the same stuff that we got the 0.879, there's our p value. Uh, don't worry about this right here, okay? Uh, you just want the t test statistic, okay? That's the t test statistic, that doesn't stand for test statistic, it's t test statistic, and then the p value.